Hello there, you're watching SME on Point. My name is Diabo Seto. It's August and as we do every year, we celebrate amazing female entrepreneurs and they're coming up with some of the cleverest innovations like South Africa's first culturally intelligent AI sales bot that, listen to this, speaks Zosital, Isizulu, Sesotho, Afrikaans and English and it has been specifically built for e-commerce and retail brands. This is the brainchild of an entrepreneur, Yolanda Tandala, who's the founder of HNB AI Zinga Intelligence. The SCSI sales guru changes that it's trained to sell, solve and speak the way we actually do. But Yolanda Tandala has visited us in studio to tell us more. Welcome to SME on Point. Thank you so much. I've been so excited to speak to you mm -hmm. about this. But tell me about this Gassi Sales um, AI bot um, and what made you come up with it? What were you trying to achieve? So in my, I would like to first thank you for having me today. It is quite an honor to be celebrated on Women's Month. Um, what motivated the Gassi Sales Guru was the frustrations that I learned from enterprises, uh, especially in South Africa, where bots sound more generic, bots are slow, bots are foreign. Mm. And when you look at South African consumer and consumer communication and interaction, yeah. consumers want relevance. They want voice and they want something that's vibey and yes. upbeat. and relatable. Exactly. So that's what introduced Ikasi Sales Guru, where I take AI, a simple infrastructure of a bot, a chatbot, and I then teach it how to speak our way. Mm -hmm. So it's social media slang, it's Sotidal, it's township intelligence, yeah. it's ECAS, the salesmanship, where you are buying something online, but it's also hyping you up. Yes. Sean, Dwana, you look so great in this, you look so great in these kicks, you look so great. How about you take this? Yeah. You know, so it's upselling at the same time, helping you navigate, you know, a site's catalog and helping you with return policies, a very, any, like a simple architecture yeah. with customer interaction, but this one speaks like you. It makes you feel good about what you're about to buy. Yeah. And it makes you celebrate what you just bought and closes the sale on your behalf. Absolutely amazing stuff. Let's talk about your journey. You know, yeah. when we look at AI penetration, just mm -hmm. in Africa as a, as a whole, it's growing, but obviously not at the rate that uh, we see developed economies, you know, adopting it. Yeah. But what you are doing, you're starting a revolution here. Yeah. How easy was it or difficult uh, was it to, you know, start putting it together? And the, the take up from uh, e-commerce uh, platforms, how has it been? Well, it hasn't really be, been a difficult journey. Mm -hmm. I'd like to give props to engineers, especially data scientists in Africa, mm -hmm. that are advocating for African languages to be part of AI evolution. Sure. So those people played a pivotal role in terms of research and data to feed AI. Big companies like Microsoft, yeah. like OpenAI, yeah. like Bard Gemini from Google, they are infrastructure is already trained with our languages. So with me, I use OpenAI infrastructure, where luckily OpenAI is already tapped in into yeah. South African market, regardless of uh, dictionary languages yes. and translations, it, it understands our vibe because all these softwares are connected to social media. We look at Grok, Elon Musk on Twitter. Yeah. It speaks like so Twitter users mm -hmm. as well. So the more you interact with it, the more it teaches itself how to speak like you. So it was very easy for me to instruct the bots, Ikasi Sales Guru, to speak to us in a way that it does. And then um, it, is, it's, it is that AI interaction, yes. but through the system instructions that I gave it, it's able to tap in to South African market. How are then um, the retailers adapting to it? Because, um, you know, everyone who is an entrepreneur is a business, they mm -hmm. want to sales, to see sales boom. Yeah. And if you have something like this that can speak to a demo, a specific demographic of mm -hmm. your clientele, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. But how are they receiving it? And are clients really seeing what you're trying to do? They see the bigger picture, especially guys in IT. Mm. But then, this bot serves customer service departments. Sure. The biggest challenge that they've expressed to me is that they already have bots in their e-commerce sites, okay. but they're very generic. So they're kind of hesitant into adopting AI based on that frustration. Mm -hmm. But when we speak about this gassy salesmanship, this beautiful, vibey, interactive bot, I give them freedom to test it themselves 
interact with them themselves as yeah. professionals in customer service yeah. to understand that this is not just any generic bot. This is bot that aligns with the brand that we're serving and it aligns to how you know consumers, even the, their target market, communicates with each other yes. and how they adapt to style and the product that they're selling. So they're very happy that finally, finally, we have a bot that actually speaks. It's natural language, it's fine-tuned, it understands, it doesn't give me the same answer over and over again. It actually takes me from point one to closing the yes. sale. Yeah. You are an excellent example of digital transformation and women who are going uh, all the way with digital transformation. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing more and more women, you know, following your lead? Because, um, you know, artificial intelligence technology has yeah. previously been associated with mm -hmm. more males doing uh, IT and stuff. How are you seeing um, the growth and the take up of women in this digital revolution? Well, I honored an invite during Mandela Day at Soweto. There is Funda Center at Soweto, and then they have a platform there. Well, it's a skills development center that offers soft engineering courses, sure. AI skills. Mm -hmm. And when I got into that center, I realized that there's so many women actually learning how to create softwares and how to build AI products. Yeah. So the adoption where females are concerned, it's out there. There's geek culture, you know, there's a VITS platform where kids go there and learn coding. There are tech events that are hosted where everyone in tech come together and speaks and you know learn from each other. Yeah. And the, the growth of female attendance is quite big. I've never experienced since I got into the industry where I feel like there's not a lot of female. Even the biggest platform in the country that the first guys that taught AI how to speak Swahili, Tsonga, and all of that, yeah. it's, the co-founder is a woman. Wow. It's called Lila by AI, which then also motivated me that my product that I'm bringing to the market is actually credible. And, read, and, and, and really relevant. Mm -hmm. um, as we prepare to, to, to close off, Yolanda, how would you encourage women and girls that are watching us today? They're looking at you and they're thinking, yeah. If Yolanda could do this, then definitely I could do that. What kind of opportunities are there for women to look into digital um, solutions? Um, I think they should definitely look online. These platforms that are out there, they don't discriminate. Yeah. They actually empower the youth and young people to go in there. But the most important thing I'd like to tell the young women in particular, when you get into the IT or technology industry, it doesn't mean you need to change the posture of who you already are. Yes. The core gift, the calling that you received to actually contribute to providing solutions through technology, let that anchor you. That, that make, let that be the unique you know, perspective that you bring into the industry. Mm -hmm. Don't come into the industry and think that you need to act a different way yes. or become someone different. No, mm -hmm. the first idea that you received to provide a solution through technology, be anchored in that and never change who you are. Yolanda, thank you so much. As you heard, it says never change uh, who you are. I've been speaking to Yolanda Tandala. Uh, she is uh, the founder of HNB AI Zinger Intelligence. She came up with an amazing concept um, of the Kasi sales guru that uh, is able to speak Sosital, Zulu, and Sesotho uh, with e commerce and retail platforms. And that's all for SME and Point uh, this week. Remember to support small businesses in your communities. Hello. Let's make those rents and cents circulate. Goodbye.